feet, and watch ladies and friends. Just change the last of the to you some sweet, beautiful day. If you will play from a cup, yeah, the tune that is just, you'll get all my blood. And there's the symptom because I want this to end. Hey! Can you believe this? There are it's people incredible. polka dancing here in the terminal. Look at this, Joe. Isn't this, isn't this incredible? Yeah, what, a, what a beautiful morning. You know, the, the 10th anniversary KFIZ Funjet Las Vegas departure is, has gone over just so wonderfully. I mean, look at this great group of people that we've got checking in here this morning with uh, we got donuts and coffee and Bloody Marys and polka music. You know, what, what, what could be better, Joe? I'm Joe Scheibinger from News Talk 1450 KFIZ. This is Jeff Zulsdorf from Destination One. Jeff. It's unbelievable. What Jeff put together here is something that probably no other tour company could have possibly done. We've got our own 737 400 rented. <laughs> well, it's got to be the biggest rental airplane ever yeah, to make with me. I, I believe so, Joe. You know, we uh, we worked this out with the Funjet company out of Milwaukee, and and they went to work with us and said, if you want to send your folks out of Oshkosh, they'll work with us. And and they, they uh, the Department of Transportation gave us permission to use the facility, this beautiful Oshkosh facility, for our departure, uh, for our private jet to Vegas, and and here we are. We told everyone that the doors are going to open at 6:40. I got here at six o'clock with the donuts. Three quarters of the people were in the building already waiting for the polka music to start. I, I think you're right. We drove by about uh, just a little after 6 and there was 30, 40 cars in the parking lot already and as you look out here now, the parking lot is full, the terminal is full, so uh, what, a, what a great time. All of our people are here right now and of course they're polka dancing like crazy. Railroad Ron is over <laughs> in the back. They're eating donuts, eating donuts. they're uh, drinking Bloody Marys and uh, coffee all supplied by the Elks Club. We'd yeah. like to throw in that. Uh, uh, we're broadcasting live on two radio stations here, of course, News Talk 1450 KFIZ. As you can tell, we're broadcasting with our sprint equipment. Yeah. This is this is how we broadcast live from Las Vegas with just headsets and uh, one of these great uh, Sprint digital phones. And uh, we're also broadcasting on WIX, uh, WISS, Bernie Phillips in uh, in Berlin, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, he just interviewed you a few minutes ago, and, and his listeners uh, supported us on this trip as well as your backstage live listeners. I mean, you've got such a wonderful following of uh, people that have that have joined you on this. They say this is your tenth time. Yeah. And it shows. I mean, the quality of the program that we put together, and and uh, the Funjet company works with us very well. And and uh, you know what could be better? This is just great. I can't believe it. I mean, it's been what 30 days since we actually opened up the uh, reservations. Phones have been ringing at Destination One right off the hook. And in 30 days, 170 people, 170 people heard it on the radio and called Jeff Zulsdorf at Destination One. And folks, I can't thank you enough. We've got the best listeners, and who saw 14. What a, yeah, what a what a great group of people, Joe. I mean, it's uh, we've done so many of these in the past, and and uh, the support has just been overwhelming. And and uh, we want to say thank you to you and the radio station too for putting this together. I have to say a special thanks to my staff. They're here all helping get checked in. Cheryl and the others are all that play such a big part of of organizing all of this. You know, I get to be on the radio with you and talk smart, but. They're the ones who really do the majority of the work, so I got to say a special thanks to them too. And Jeff, I can't thank you enough, and I hope we do many, many more trips yeah, in the future. We're going to do it again. We'll right. do it again. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Broadcasting live from the terminal building. Don't go away, cause you're whole, you're you're hooked up to my system. Here we go. Thanks. We're broadcasting live from the terminal from Whitman Field. I, I think we're, it's safe to say we're probably one of the last big jets to leave Oshkosh. Unfortunately, they lost their air traffic service. Hopefully, it'll come back. But boy, if we could do a couple of these every year. Well, they call it that good enough for you to do. And then that refuse it up Well, I shut my mouth. Fill up my jug with that good old Mountain Dew With that good old Mountain Dew Hey! Go to... Can you hear him now? Yep. Yes, now I hear you. Great. Good morning, Bernie. Oh, kind of anxious. 
Zolzdorf. I'm the owner and operator of Destination One Vacation Company in Fond du Lac. We're the organizers of Joe's 10th annual KFIZ Las Vegas Funjet departure that we're here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin celebrating today. Now how did you get involved in the travel industry? Oh my, I've been involved all my life. I uh, started in travel at, at uh, uh, age 9 and 10 down here in Horicon. My father operated the uh, Horican Marsh Guide Service and Boat Tour Company. So, good morning. <laughs> so, uh, that's where I got my start and I worked for a variety of tour companies uh, in the 70s and I uh, work for a travel agency in Milwaukee and in Beaver Dam and, and I own my own agency here in Fond du Lac. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, what, what's it take to get into the travel industry? Oh my, you got to have a lot of determination, a lot of patience. I mean, look, at we organized 170 people here today. I mean, that's a lot of details. I mean, there's a lot of things to work out, make sure they're here on time, make sure they got their luggage, identification. So there's, there's a lot of attention to detail that's required. You know, we do a lot of computer work, obviously, like, like a lot of other industries. And, and uh, so if you've got a good attention to detail, it's a job that, uh, that you can perform. You know, and you got to have good customer service skills. You know, you, you've got to be able to communicate with people. Now, how has the, the most recent crisis, the, the current situation, affected your, the, the travel your from your perspective? Clean, by the way. It's just, uh, it's just now a great big jet just pulling up in front of the terminal here. Uh, it, it's, it's been mixed. You know, obviously, like today, we have 170 excited people going to Las Vegas. We didn't have anyone cancel or even remotely consider not going with us on this departure. So we pretty much are encouraging those who want to go and respect those who choose to stay home. You know, that people have to make up their own mind and uh, uh, we're happy to send those who, who want to continue to go with us and, and those that may want to wait a, wait a little while. You know, again, we, we obviously respect that and uh, uh, it, it always affects us. You know, the people do want to wait to see what's going to happen, but uh, hopefully it'll all end quickly and, and everybody will be back at it at a regular pace. So. Look at this, you're going to have to make sure you get some videotape of our, uh, of our jet out here. So. <laughs> I think I'm going to head up to the second level and get some, and get some footage. Um, now are you going, do you go along on all these trips? Unfortunately, I can't go along on this one. You know, they, we had 170 spaces, we sold them all out, so I'm not able to go on this one. i got to stay back and do some of the work. I think Joe is going to interview me on his radio program. He does his uh, backstage live program every morning, so he's going to be broadcasting from the Westward Hole. Uh, the next couple of mornings, so I think he plans on getting me on the air out there. But no, I gotta, I gotta stay here and do the work. Like so, you and I, we gotta stay here. So if you do really, really good, there's no room for you on your own trip. That's right. If you sell it out well, you stay home. Well, that's that's, but that's all part of it. That's all part of it. All right. Well, thank you for taking some time to talk to us. You're welcome. It was a pleasure meeting you. Nice working with you. Thank you. Hey, 